Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night Finishing School episode one. <laughs> hi Lori, hi Debbie, hi Allison. Oh, you can see my, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but oh well, you can see my um, phone set up. So I have my phone filming top down of what I'm working on and I'm gonna try and chit chat with you guys while I work on finishing. Hi Robin. Um, okay, so what we're working on today is the hip hop chock full that I finished stitching two days ago. <laughs> this is by Hands On Design. And I am going to be finishing it onto a white horn book that I got from Homestead Needleworks. And I have got a very wide assortment of trims that I think I might want to use. Um, yeah, so this is going to be super similar to my uh, Santa, my Santa um, chalk full. And um, yeah, so I think I will tilt this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and hopefully I'll still be able to read your comments and chit chat. But the actual like top down video is what this camera and ring light <laughs> are filming um, for me to insert into my video on Sunday. Hi Kim, thanks for joining us. Hi Carol. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start organizing my supplies and I'm gonna talk to you guys about, I don't know what I'm doing as I do it. And I really hope, sorry if I'm squinting, my. <laughs> Laptop's kind of far from me. Um, hi, so girly, Karen. Okay, so I linked some, I put some links in the description box. I think you can get to the description box um, while we're doing this live. And all of these trims that I'm gonna work with today, um, they're all Lady Dot Creates. I've got twill tape, um, silk ribbon. Oh, sorry, the silk ribbon is actually Dinky Dyes. It's not Lady Dot. And I've got some Lady Dot pom-poms and I've got some of her chenille trims. So I've linked her Etsy shop in the description box. Oh, hey guys, there's a lot more of you showing up. Hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on this very spur of the minute. I had been thinking about how to do this and I was like, let me just try it. <laughs> and the worst thing that happens is I'm like, oh, shut it down. Um, but Friday nights when I like sit down to like start finishing stuff, I, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of fun if I let you guys watch me do my process in real time for those that want. And then in my Sunday video, I just include the sped up quick, you know, quick version. Um, I don't know, that's my idea. So I'm trying it out. Okay, I'm gonna tilt the camera down just a little bit. Woo. So you can kind of, okay, I think that's a good view. I'm just Headless. Please enjoy my tie-dye torso. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, Jean. Hi, Sandra, Donna. I'm trying to catch you all. Hi, Shelby. <laughs> okay, um, I'll tip it up at some point. You can see my face again, but I am going to get started and walk you through my plan. So here's our chart. I stitched the hip-hop jack full, and I'm going to be finishing it onto this board and then applying all kinds of various trims and whatnot. And I even have the little pin minis. I'm very excited. Okay, so let me clear off my area and I've got some of my um, mat board. Um, I actually buy what's called art board by Canson from Hobby Lobby in these big 20 by 30 sheets. And then I cut them down and use up every inch that I can. Okay. I have a nicer pin somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna grab myself a post-it note because I'm gonna start by measuring my piece and writing down some measurements. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is my brother-in-law. He's married to my sister, Allison, and he has decided that he needs to get in on the 30th birthday quilt action. 
um, Ryan, Allison, I think would probably kill me if I made you a 30th birthday quilt before I made her one. So, you know, talk to Allison about who's first in line. Okay. This piece is about four and a half by five and a half. Okay, and then my board is five and a half by six. Okay. So I'm gonna cut out 4.75 by 5.75 out of my uh, mounting board. So I'm gonna see if I can get that size piece out of the scrap. Oh yeah, love getting to reuse these random pieces of scrap. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can keep up with the chat while I do this. Hey, Gloria. <laughs> Allison is confirming that <laughs> she wants her quilt first. Got it, got it. Um, one thing I do, oh, you're up here, not here. Uh, <laughs> this is for quilting because it's my nice ergonomic handle. And then I keep one older blade um, on with like this little piece of fabric tied around it. So I know this is my paper and matting board um, blade so I don't damage my quilt cool blades. So I'm just using a rotary cutter and my acrylic quilting ruler and I'm just trimming down my mat board to size and I wanted 4.75 by 5.75. How's everybody's Friday night going? <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Hey, Kathy. Okay. All right, so now we have our um, mounting board our mounting um, mat board. And so now I am going to put a layer of batting on uh, my board behind the cross stitch piece. And so normally I would take this outside and use my tacky spray. Um, Aileen's Tacky glue makes a, um, a spray, but um, since I don't wanna get up and go do that right now, I'm just gonna do a light layer of the Aliens Tacky Glue to get my batting down. And you're gonna see me do this, <laughs> like half the video to try to get my Aliens out. I need a new bottle. Oh, come on. Oh, hi, Pauline. Hello, England. Is it like 1.30 a.m. there? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm up that late on the weekends all the time. Hey, Raspberry Stitcher. Oh my gosh, synchronized swimming. Is that like prep for the um, Summer Olympics or what? Because that sounds awesome. Where do I watch um, synchronized swimming? Okay, I'm gonna use a little push pin to try and clear some goop out of this um, out of this glue. Ooh, man! Probably should have just done the spray glue. I would have been back already. Oh, cool! Yeah, so Pam, I've seen that on Vana's videos, but I don't know how to get it to not drip the whole time and like cause like dry in the tip of the, um, like how to stop it from drying in here if it's sitting upside down the whole time. But I guess I should try that because I always have like a struggle getting it started. Where are my little pins? 
Let's see. <laughs> the struggle is real. I know. Okay. Come on, glue. We got things to do. There we go. This doesn't have to be real precise. I'm just trying to get the um, batting stuck on. Okay. And I have a little wet rag over here so I can unglue my fingers as I work. Oh, okay, so you just put the tip on it and leave it upside down. Okay, yeah, I, okay, yeah, I need to do that then. I need to get like a cup and just keep it upside down. I just normally like to keep it in this drawer next to me so it's off the tabletop, but maybe in the sake, uh, for the sake of <laughs> always having glue ready, I'll change it up. <laughs> Okay, and so now I'm just using the rotary cutter alongside my mat board to trim. So I have a piece of mat board now with the batting on top. <laughs> Mugs are multi-purpose, yes. Hi, Chris, you're not late. I just surprised everybody with a random live. <laughs> I just decided, you know, my Friday night was going to be spent finishing and chit-chatting. Okay, so let's look at mounting our piece. Do I have... Yeah. I don't know if it's going to show up on this dark fabric. I have this Era Race, um, Sew Line Era Race pen. And so... I'm also really interested to see how long it actually takes me to finish one of these. I know it's going to be a little bit longer because I'm chit-chatting, but. <laughs> okay, this was 4.75 by 5.75. So they're there, and this is 4.75. I wonder if this will show up. Oh yeah, it shows up. Okay, cool. Oh yes, everyone tell me what you're stitching on because if I can't keep up with the chat now, I'll get to go watch it back later. So. <laughs> um, okay, just finish my little markings. And I'm just putting the corners on with this air erase marker so that it makes it easier um, for me to line up my mat board. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, nope, you can't, can you? I just drew some, li I drew lines around the corners so that I have a good idea of where to place my um, batting mat board down on the piece because there's no borders or any other guidelines. This is like kind of a free flowing, you know, edge. So... Gonna kind of flip it over and fold it and look at it. And I know it needs to come a little bit over to the left. Yay. Okay. This is obviously not a science. It's, um, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to call it an art. It's just an eyeball. <laughs> it's an eyeball. That's what I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm gonna cut the selvage off just cause that won't stick down as well with the glue as everything else. So I'm gonna cut off that selvage edge and now I'm gonna start gluing. Hey, Black Ribbon Studio. Hi, welcome in. Shine on block of the month. Oh, that's really pretty, I've seen that. 
Cherry Hollow Farm. Ooh, is that a new one from Expo? I need to look that one up. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the sides of the piece. And so the reason I like to use tacky glue, I've said it before, but I'll talk about it again, is because of the playtime and like the wiggle room. Um, it doesn't dry instantly. So I'm gonna glue down my sides and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna be able to adjust slightly um, the linen one side to the other so that I can get a good like centering of the design. So I use my guidelines to lay the board down and then I'm gonna glue and shift things very slightly if I need to. And I'm definitely a less is more person with the tacky glue, the first round of gluing, um, really enough to, you know, get it stuck on, but not, um, I don't want too much like bleeding of the glue. So I'm just holding down the board and I'm using my thumbs to smooth the fabric over the glue. And I will kind of pay attention to my linen lines to make sure things are looking pretty square as I pull um, the linen. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it around. Do my little loops of glue. I need like a fat quarter shop Lily here with me to like read me questions if anybody has any. <laughs> Why don't I have an assistant yet? Allison, what are you doing? Can you come down the street and be my assistant? <laughs> Allison just dropped her kids off with our parents. So I'm sure she is enjoying a child free night and not gonna come be my assistant, but that's okay. Oh, a 2015 market exclusive. Oh, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I don't know if I've heard of that one. <laughs> Everyone needs a lily. That girl is like on top of it. So like my ideal goal would be to have this top down view and then also you guys be able to see my face um, like the Fat Quarter Shop does, but like I've got a phone and a laptop and me. Um, so like, I don't really know how to do that yet. Maybe I'll figure it out. <laughs> hey, Britta. Okay, I should stop talking because my glue is gonna dry before I adjust. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea to finish while distracted. Um, okay, so I can tell that I want this pulled tighter over here. Dang it. Okay. So yeah, so here's where I'm at getting my piece centered. This is so cute. I love these designs so much. I'm gonna stitch probably almost all of them at some point. They're so cute. And I really don't have trouble with the 32 count black fabric, but um, I have that Sparrow. Oh, you probably can't see it, it's over here. Uh, that's like almost black, like that super dark brown and it's 40 count. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even know where to begin with that one. I think I'll have to use a magnifier or something if I try to stitch on that. So we, We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do the top and bottom now. And I use a little bit more glue on the top and bottom because it's gotta go through two layers of fabric in some cases. So what I like to do on the top and bottom is kind of pull my corners in. And I don't worry too much about weird folds yet. I just worry about pulling, um, tightly from the bottom and then pushing my excess fabric down into the glue. Oops. And just making sure that my edges, um, like the folded edges doesn't go all the way to the edge of the board where you would see it, um, you know, on the finished piece. Hopefully that makes sense. And so then I didn't go up high enough with the glue. So I'm gonna get these tails well or should I just trim it I might just trim it that's a lot of extra fabric <laughs> 
Andy. Andy would be the cutest and worst assistant ever. He would just start playing with things and, um, or want to sit in my lap. Uh, <laughs> oh, but he would be adorable. He is with his Gigi and Papa right now, probably eating pizza and doing puzzles. Who knows? Okay, let's see. Make sure all these edges on the bottom are nice and glued down. <gasps> oh, yeah, that... 31 block party is so cute. I actually did just get the Christmas one. I'll show that in haul on uh, Sunday. So I'll definitely probably be doing another block party at some point. Um, but I'm going to start with the Christmas one. I know they are the cutest little boys in the world and I cannot believe they're going to get a, you know, a third baby boy. Um, Allison, <laughs> when she was texting us about uh, finding out um, the sex of the baby, <laughs> she was like, my house is about to become a GameStop. <laughs> oh, so funny. And then my sister Lynn, um, who She's the one who lives overseas in Dubai. Um, she has two little girls. So <laughs> one of my sisters has all the girls and the other has all the boys. So it's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing on this end, just shoving my gluey fingers all over this fabric and getting it to stick down. Okay, so has anybody been planning any fun after post-vaccination vacation, vaccination vacations? Um, Rob and I have a trip to Chicago in South Bend to see his family for the end of May that I'm very much looking forward to, but it is still a little bit nerve wracking to think about traveling <laughs> just because like we haven't gone anywhere in a year. So um but yeah, we're very much looking forward to it. It's uh, his birthday, the week we're going. So he'll get to see his family for the first time in two years. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll get to celebrate. So anybody else have any fun vacations um, they're working on planning? Oh, yay, Shelby, get it. Um, okay, so here is my little mounted hip hop chock full. I think it's so cute. Um, I would have probably left a little bit more room at the top, but I am working with this board um, that came at this size. So I wanted to make it look, you know, nice on this. So I didn't do it any taller. So anyways, look how cute. Okay, I'm very excited, clearly. So my next step is going to be um, gluing the mounted cross stitch onto the board just like that and then we're going to start playing with all the trims and ribbons and stuff so let me get this glued down yeah yeah I know I don't we have a flight scheduled and I'm like oh can we drive but it's like an 18 hour drive to Indiana <laughs> Uh, but I guess we're just going to suck it up and fly. Um, I guess good news is, is like there's still some really cheap flights. So I managed to get us first class tickets for like $300 a piece round trip. Um, so maybe at least we'll be a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. But it's still very nerve wracking to think about. I flew March 5th or March 8th last year um, for work. I was coming home from a work trip. And the airports were like so dead and it was so crazy. And um, yeah, that's the last time I flew. It's <laughs> the last time I went anywhere. Okay, just getting this 
good and gluey so it can make a nice adhesion with our board. And I do like to get right up on the edge. Um, this glue dress does dry clear. Um, so if a little bit comes out the edges, don't worry, we can clean it up. And then we're also gonna add a trim. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting right up on the edges. Okay, nice and gluey. Fun, I'm missing all the chats. Okay. So let's flip this over and I'm just gonna eyeball this using my gridded mat um, just as a guide so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm just gonna fully <laughs> press this down for a few seconds. Yeah, um, so all of my coworkers are in Cupertino, California, which is, well, they all live in like the Bay Area, basically, um, San Jose area. And a lot of them, like my boss and one of my coworkers is uh, our big, huge um, Disney fans. And they've been talking about Disneyland opening back up because um, they used to go all the time. And so, yeah, they're very excited about reopening, even though I know it's like um, limited capacity and stuff. So the one thing I didn't think about since I'm kind of chained to my desk for this live is that normally I would go over to my bookshelf in the hallway and put a big stack of books on top of this and let it dry for a few minutes. Um, so let me think what I'm gonna do about that. Do I have anything heavy that's close by? Could use my fabric basket, that's heavy. Um, will it get in the way? This is my big basket of 36 and 40 count. <laughs> and it's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna see if I can set this on top of that. Yes, okay, that'll work. So I'll let that adhere and dry for a minute and then we'll look at trim options. And actually maybe I can push you guys up a little more. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna catch up on the chat for a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Kirsten, Kirsten, right? Not Kristen. Hi, it must be late where you are. Aren't you in Denmark? Um, okay, so I went ahead and bought the coordinating um, pin mini set. So this is the little bunny and carrot and mason jar. And I have the twill tape in the matching um, blue color. So I've got those to start with. And then I have oh, this super cute, um, it's called Pinky, uh, pink pom-pom trim that I would really like to use. So we'll see about that. Let's see what else I have. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. I don't remember where I got this, but it's a 100% um, silk ribbon from Dinky Dyes. Let's see. Yeah. And it's just so pretty. So we'll see if I need to use that for anything. Um. How do I tell how many people are in here? Oh, there's 116 people, 117. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> I thought there were like 10 of you. <laughs> okay, um, what else do I have? I've got this green color if I need it. And then I pulled out some white and some blue pom-poms. And I also have some jute in case, I don't know, in case I think it's necessary. Okay. <laughs> I 
that's how it always is here too, Kirsten. <laughs> the world is asleep and my mind is like, <laughs> what else can we make? <laughs> oh, thank you, Bunny. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so here's where we're at. We've got the cross stitch piece mounted to the board. And so now my next steps are gonna be to pick out a trim to do the edges. And then I'm gonna make a kind of ribbon tassel for the top, similar to how I did my, um, my Santas. So yeah, I'm gonna tip the uh, camera back down so you can see what I'm doing. And then you won't be able to see this face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Um, is that okay? Okay, I think that's okay. Oh gosh, don't judge the messy floor behind me. Um, oh, actually, I have another trim too. It might be this mossy green. This is a, um, a teeny tiny chenille from Lady Dot and I'll show you next to, so this is her normal size of chenille trim, but she also makes this teeny tiny size, which I love a lot. So, and this green matches really well with, um, with my bunnies. Try and show you guys a little bit up close. See, that green's pretty cute, right? So I might do that or is the pink too much? I don't know, the pink's pretty cute, right? Look at the pink. Is the pink too pink? Oh, it's kind of cute though. I'm waiting to see if anyone wants to weigh in on what colors they're liking. Um, I'll try the blue one. Here's how the blue one would kind of look. Oh, the blue's cute. Love the pink. Okay, yeah, I know pink is my favorite always too, Lori. That blue's pretty cute though. The only thing with the pom-poms is I'll have to sit here and separate them, which sometimes can be slightly tedious. Um, but you know, whatever. Just sitting here hanging out, so. Okay. And then of course I could do white. No, white's not happening. I don't like the white. <sighs> or do I do green in here? And then do I mix pink, the pink pom-poms in with my blue? Huh. No, I'm gonna do the pink pom-poms. Yeah, okay. Which green? This lime green? I think the lime green is a little too, um, is a little too lime. Yeah, I don't think this um, green is the right shade. So I'm gonna put this one away. Oh, maybe twist, well, not with the pom-poms. I don't think I could do pink and blue pom-poms. Um, maybe if I had chenille, but I don't think I could do that with the pom-poms. Just checking to see. If only I could show y'all this drawer. Well, you can kind of see it. The drawer I'm digging in is just full of different colors of Lady Dot trim. I have this chenille. I buy a ton of colors from her and it comes in three yard segments, which are like, oh, that's not very much. But like considering this is like a five by seven, right? Um, so I'm gonna use like just a couple of feet of it. So it really does last a while. Okay, so look, now that there's this pink also, oh, I guess that's not really the right pink versus this pink. Yeah, I think I like this one better. Oh, see, I know the small green is, Super cute too. You're the expert. <laughs> I'm glad I um, present like I am the expert, but I just wing it. Okay, so yeah, barn door, you can go back in your bag. Yep, 
yeah, I'm going to do the pink pom-poms. So I'm going to do a little rough measurement of how many I'm going to need. And use my favorite new scissors, which are these little guys. I love these scissors. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. Belinda, is that how you say it? <laughs> yes, I'm doing the pink palms. Okay, sorry, let me remeasure. I got distracted. One, two, three, four, and a little bit of extra. Okay, so let me scoot that all over to the side. So on Lady Dot pom poms, if you're not familiar, you can separate them. So I am going to take the pom-poms off this tape so that I'm left with just a string of pom-poms to wrap around my piece. And I'm going to push this camera up so y'all can see my face since it's going to be a minute. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so, yeah, these Lady Dot pom-poms are really unique because you can separate them from the little tape and then you just have a string of little balls and so you don't have to try to hide the tape but um, it can be a tiny bit tedious to get them off the tape depending on I don't know depending on the strand sometimes I have no problem and sometimes it takes forever and so you can see how it starts to just become a little string of pom-pom balls and the tape. Hi Phyllis! Um, these cute scissors I got at Fat Quarter Shop, but they're by a quilt designer. Ooh, Rainy Day Quilts? Something like that. Um, she has a blog, but she, um, she designed some little super sharp sewing snips, and I think they were like 12 maybe $8. I can't remember, but I did get them at Fat Quarter Shop, and I think I linked to them several videos ago um, in my haul portion um, when I bought them. But yeah, they're super cute. So I'm just yanking out the, um, the little strand and slowly separating my pom-poms. <laughs> oh my gosh, Amanda, I love that. Thank you. Um, yeah, as soon as I get done with this, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put a frozen pizza in the oven and um, turn on the new um, Falcon and Winter Soldier episode um, and eat some pizza, maybe have a beer and hang out on the couch. <laughs> uh, did anybody watch WandaVision? Um, I was never like a Marvel person and. Uh, Rob is very much so. And so, you know, just through him, I'd watched a couple of the movies and I got really into WandaVision and wanted to watch the new uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. And so we've been watching through all the old Marvel movies that I haven't seen and it's been really fun. I never really thought I'd be into them, but it's just like, you know, action movies and they're funny and yeah, I don't know. I'm having fun with it. Oh, yes, WandaVision. It was so good. And Katherine Hahn was so good in WandaVision. And then um, we watched We Are the Millers the other night, and I'd forgotten that she was in that. And she's so funny. Katherine Hahn's amazing. Sorry, guys, this is the boring part of the video where I'm just, you know, pulling pom-poms apart <laughs> about halfway there. <laughs> Pam, this is my first time doing a live on a Friday night. It's just an idea I had because I feel like um, I do most of my, well, I mean, I do almost all of my finishing of cross-stitch projects on Friday and Saturday because I work during the week and, I mean, I could come in here and spend time finishing, but usually I just prefer to stitch after work. So, um I just was like, why don't, you know, I'm already filming myself finish a bunch of things to include in my Sunday video. I was like, why don't I try to just do it live 
and record, you know, with my phone um, so that I can still include it on Sunday. But then if people want to watch me finish live and ask questions about what I'm doing, um, you know, so. Oh, my gosh. Yes. A tampon. <laughs> she calls them tampons, not tampons. <laughs> A tampon. Uh <laughs> We are the Millers is really ridiculously funny. I'd only seen it once and we watched it the other night and I was like, all right, this is good. Um, I really want to watch um, Ed Helms is in that. Uh, and it made me uh, want to go watch his version of Vacation. I loved like the Chevy Chase Vacation movies as a kid. And um, yeah, so it made me want to go watch the new one. I haven't seen it yet. So I'm sure it's not as good as the original, but you know. Oh, wow. Congratulations on 50 years. I think I'm going to make it to 50 before ever being married. <laughs> um, okay, almost there. Where are y'all going in New Mexico? Oh, wait, in Mexico? A trip to Mexico, not New Mexico. I don't know why I read New Mexico. <laughs> I took a trip to New Mexico as a kid. We went skiing. <laughs> oh, I'm a dork. Okay. Whew. I have separated the pom-pom. So now it is a piece of tape and a piece of pom-pom. Whoo! -pom. Okay, so I'm going to lean you guys back down and I am going to work on attaching my pom poms. Okay. So I always start at the bottom and have my join of the trim be on the bottom. And so what I like to do is I kind of hold it upright and there's a little channel, like a little gap where the uh, mounting piece kind of meets the board. Sorry, I'm gonna get a sip of water out of my humongo cup. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a bead of glue down in this little channel along the gap between the cross stitch piece and the board. So you can kind of see there's kind of a lot of glue, but that's okay. It'll dry. Um, and I'm just going to lay my cut edge of my pom-pom right down in that glue. And actually, I'm gonna have to do this flat where I can see. I'm not gonna be able to show y'all that well, but you'll be able to see it in my video on Sunday. And then same thing. I like to do a whole side at a time. Um, this glue does not dry very fast, so you can run a bead of glue down the whole side. And then you just lay your pom-poms down in the glue. Super, super easy. And I'll clean up any little glue overages in a minute. That's two sides done. Okay, yeah, for next one, I definitely have to get something to keep this upside down. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this here because this top is um, 
is kind of bowing out, so I want it to stick really good. So I'm just gonna catch up on the chat. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I didn't even tell you I was going live. Did YouTube notify you? <laughs> Yay, Lenny, that's so exciting. Um, yeah, enjoy your trip, especially if you have your second vaccination. That's awesome. Oh, Insta, you saw my, my Insta stories. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm showing them how I'm finishing my little hip hop. I'm just sewing, or not sewing, I'm gluing the pom poms on right now. This is a brand new laptop and I really wish the webcam was slightly better quality. I feel like when I hold things up, I don't know, I guess because there's not like a ring light on it. So maybe um, the colors are washed out. I don't know. Again, I don't have a Lily who runs my <laughs> live stream. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Mom, what are the boys doing? Are they watching with you? Um, so I stitched mine on uh, 32 count fabrics by Stephanie Slate, which is the called for. And I linked Homestead Needleworks in the description box. And Homestead Needleworks is the one that sells these wooden boards for finishing. And I've used them for several so many projects. They're really, really nice. And it's like all aged and kind of like distressed. And they have some that are less distressed and more solid colors. They have distressed. Oh, hi, Andy and Charlie. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're down at the bottom. And so I'm going to measure and see which pom pom is going to sit directly next to um, the one we started with and then trim and then I'll glue and I'll just butt the ends right up against each other and usually you won't be able to tell at all where it's joined. So I'm going to measure this. Let's see. And I'm going to want to cut right here. And I'm going to run my line of glue. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay my last little piece down and tuck in my little pom-pom. And there, you can't even see where I tucked it in a little bit, but the glue's still drying. When the glue dries, you won't be able to tell. Yay! Look how cute that is! <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Okay. Yeah, Tara, I think it's just slightly lower quality because it's like the front facing webcam that's included in my laptop, but I don't know, my iPhone camera is definitely way better, but um, that's the only thing that'll fit with like my ring light. So I, I'm using that, to, you know, to film my finishing. But here is where we're at so far. We have our cross stitch mounted and our um, pom poms attached. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, okay, so the last thing I have to do is create a little tassel for the top. And I'm realizing now that I bought a green ribbon at Hobby Lobby <laughs> that I didn't bring in here. Do I wanna go get it? No, I think I probably have enough. Let's see. Um, what else do I have? Okay, well, for sure, I know I'm going to be using um, my twill tape. 
And oh my gosh, these little pin minis. I don't know how I'm gonna like stick them in, but I'm gonna have to find a way to like stick those in for sure. Um, oh, Lila, is that how you say it? Hi, Lila. Um, dark fabric. Uh, so, so far, uh, I've only stitched on dark fabric on 32 count. And normally I like to stitch on 36 and 40, but I didn't have a problem with a 32 count as long as I just have super bright lighting. Um, I don't use magnification normally. So I just use like a super bright light right over, you know, my stitching. Um, and I don't really have any trouble with it at all, but I am a little nervous. I bought a 36 count piece of slate um, that I want to try some pieces on. And um, we'll see how that goes. And then I have a 40 count piece of darker fabric that I want to try. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with this twill tape. So what I'm gonna do is basically build a little ribbon tassel to kind of hang off the side of this like I did for my Santa one, if y'all if y'all remember that. I wish I could insert a picture live, but you know. Um, that's not happening. And I wanna use some of this pretty silky blue ribbon. And or do I just want to use this? Let me see. What do I want to do here? This is the part where I just start playing around. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm going to just include a little, you know, three minute sped up clip of this finishing in Sunday's video. So, you know, y'all can fast forward through this. Those of you that watched this. Pink gingham. Do you ever use pink gingham and tear it for a small strip to add? No, I've never done that before. Um, I don't have like any homespun or anything in my stash, just uh, just kind of quilting cottons. So I've never done that kind of like Priscilla homespun um, style finish. Oh, dang it. That's not cute. <laughs> that's not, okay, that's not what I want. Oh good, Amanda, I'm glad it's clear. Okay. Um, I feel like the little hole on this one is smaller than what I had before. So what I'm doing is like feeding, um, I guess I can lower this back down a little bit. Oh, hi Marie, thanks for joining us. Well, you know, I'm trying to be because <laughs> I wanna chit chat with you guys and that's way fun. So I can't be a Debbie Downer if I'm, you know, crafting. <laughs> Oh, I did it wrong again. Okay, I keep feeding this through the wrong way. I need to feed it front to back. Okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Kathy, on the TV, I'm not meant for the big screen. <laughs> Although it's really funny. So like YouTube gives you, um, like if you make videos, YouTube gives you a lot of stats on like the people that watch the videos. And um it tells me like what you guys watch me on. And like, I think 50% of people watch me on TV, which is wild. <laughs> no, not 50%. Sorry. It's like 50% mobile, like phones and, or iPads. And then like 20% TV. I don't know, but it's a large number for TVs. And I was like, are you kidding? I cannot be on that many big screens. <laughs> okay. So here's what I was trying to do, which was just do a simple overhand knot. Um, at the top of the board <laughs> and it took me 10 minutes. Oh, I know Pam, believe me. I'm like, don't mess up, don't mess up. Um, okay, so what I think I'm gonna end up doing is just, or do I wanna, hmm. So I think I'm, I'm just talking out loud. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's try things. Hmm. No. Okay. Let's see. I might get 
that white um, chenille out too. So I have some of this. Yeah, okay. Let's maybe try and add some of this into it. And maybe some of this blue. Okay. <laughs> oh, I watch a lot on my TV too. I don't know why I'm surprised by seeing um, so many people who watch on their TV because I do it too. Um, which is why sometimes I'm bad about leaving comments on videos. I watch so much floss too, but I don't always comment because I'm on my TV. Okay, so let's try this again and get all this stuff shoved through. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna use my pin to kind of help shove that through that hole. Okay, yay, so I've got my little tassel. Um, <laughs> I just went with blue and white. I'm gonna trim it up so it's not super, super long. And then I'm gonna add my little pin mini and then I think this thing is gonna be done. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever gotten one of these little pin mini sets. And I know that um, Kathy from Hands on Design shows them in a pin cushion finish, but I am totally just going to stick them in the side of, actually, hold on, I'm going to get some glue off of some of this. How long have I been going? Oh my gosh, almost an hour. Okay, good. And I'm almost done. That's exciting. I was wondering how long this would take me, <laughs> to be honest. This is all an experiment. I'm gonna use this little post-it note folded up to kind of scrape away some of the glue right there. Okay, clean that up a little. Once it fully dries, um, the glue um, will be clear, but I just don't want it to have too much excess if it doesn't need it. Okay, so. I'm just shoving my pins behind the batting on my mounted piece. Oh my gosh, this is so cute guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh wait, but how do I? <laughs> I don't know if that's our final position, but oh, maybe I need to, well, but look how cute those are. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I have the little the little tassel, because this, this is gonna sit in a little um, photo like uh, frame holder up on my entryway. And yeah, oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna play around with this positioning just a little bit. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I'll do this one behind. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this. And I've got my little, my little tassel. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah. Around the middle. I don't know. I'll play around with it probably, but there is where I'm going to leave it. Um, as a finish for tonight. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Let me tip the camera back up. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for the first Friday night finishing school. My silly little idea that I just came up with and poof, it's here. So I think when I have things I wanna sit down and finish on a Friday night, I'm gonna set up one of these lives. And if you wanna watch and chit chat, while I do it live, cool. And if not, I'll probably still include that um, video from my phone in the um, just like a little sped up clip version in my Sunday video. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you on Sunday. Have a good night, bye.